Hello, the math dog here. So in this video, I'm going to look at an introduction to area and perimeter of composite figures. I'll call this part one. So what I mean by composite figure is uh, like a figure that is formed by two rectangular sections or a triangular section and a trapezoidal section, a parallelogram and something else tacked onto it. So to do this, before watching this video, you should be familiar with the perimeter and area of rectangles, parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoids. Um, I have done videos on all these topics and they're in the playlist on basic geometry. So as always, have pencil and paper ready to do the practice that follows from the examples I do in this video. Let's get started. So some important area and perimeter form is already area rectangle. So this is the base, this is the height. Area is base times height. A rectangle is a quadrilateral with four right angles. Opposite sides turn out to be congruent or equal in length. The perimeter is two times base. You have two bases plus two heights. So it's 2B plus 2H. The area is base times height. A square is a special case of a rectangle. So the area is side times side, S squared. The perimeter is four S's because all the sides are congruent and each of them has a length. I'm calling it S. The parallelogram, the area is base, the base times the height. The height is the altitude. The parallelogram has opposite sides that are parallel. It turns out that the opposite sides are also congruent or equal in length. So make sure that you make the distinction here. This letter A that I'm using in my diagram is not the height. The height is these, this, it's like a piece of rope dropped from the ceiling to the floor. It intersects the floor at a right angle. That square means right angle. So the area is just like a rectangle area base times height, but the perimeter is going to be two of these A's, 2A plus 2B. Then we have a triangle. A triangle again, the perimeter is, I'm calling it A plus B plus C, but unless it's a right triangle, this, this is not the same as the height. The height is the altitude, and this triangle would actually if I drop the rope, it falls outside the triangle. So like from the top to the ground is a rope that intersects the ground at a 90 degree or right angle. This is the base. This is the height. The area of triangle is one half base times height. All right, then the trapezoid. So if I have a trapezoid here, again, we talk about height, which is a like a rope drop from the top to the floor or from the ceiling to the floor and intersects the ground or the floor to right ankle. So the area of a trapezoid is one half the height times the sum of these bases, B sub one, B sub two here. So one half height times the print quantity B sub one plus B sub two. This is also B sub one plus B sub two is the sum of these two bases. That's what you get when you add them together. So again, A here is not the same as the height in the, if it was a, since actually a rectangle is a trapezoid, if A was in fact intersecting the ground at a right angle, it would be, or the bottom of the trapezoid down here at a right angle, right angle <clears throat> it would be the height, but it's not. So the perimeter is A plus C plus B sub one plus B sub two. It's just a distance around. The area again is one half height times the sum of the bases. So here's the perimeter and here is the formula for area of a trapezoid. So let's do some problems. Okay. Example here, I have an L-shaped figure. I can break it into two rectangles. And that's probably, how, that's how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to break this thing this way. I could have broken it going up and down as well, but I'm going to break it into two rectangles. I'll call this one, this two. Okay, so find the perimeter and area of the figure above. Well, okay, this is eight, this is 26. So going across, this is eight, this is 26. So this missing distance here has to be 26 minus eight, which is 18 meters. 
and then going up and down from the floor to the top here is 15 from here to here is 7 so this has to be this here has to be 8 meters here 7 so let's look at it this way so it's 7 to here and then to get the 15 I have to go another 8 meters because this is supposed to be this means this is 15 meters here so now I have the dimensions I need so let's actually just do the area first here the area is going to be base times height this is a rectangle so that's to be 26 times 7 it's 42 carry a 4 2 times 7 is 14 plus 4 is 182 so that's 182 square meters and then this is just a square here, 8 by 8, base times height. So 8 times 8 is 64 square meters. So the area of the figure has to be area of 1 plus area of 2. So that's 182 plus 64. Add those up. 2 plus 4 is 6. 8 plus 6 is 14, carry 1, that's 2. So that's 246 square meters, that's the area. Okay, now, the perimeter, I'm just going to go around the figure. That's the easiest way to do it. So 8 plus 8, so I start here, 8 plus 8 plus 18, plus 7, plus 26, plus 15. Okay, so that's 6, 8, and 8, 16. 16 and 15 makes 31. 31 and 11 makes 42. Carry a 4. So that's 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So the perimeter, P, is 82 meters. Okay, there is an alternative way to do the perimeter of this figure, which actually, if you see it, is a little easier. Instead of having to add everything up, you can note that, okay, I can move this. Imagine moving that side up here and moving this side over here. Now you have a rectangle. And the dimensions of this rectangle are 15 by 26. Okay, so for perimeter, I have two sides at 26 and I have uh, meters, and I have two sides at 15 meters. Well, 2 times 52, I'm sorry, 2 times 26 is 52, and 2 times 15 is 30. So that is an alternative way to do this problem that if you spot that could make it a little easier. Okay, so I want you to stop the video, do this practice problem. I want you to find the area and perimeter of the figure above here. None of these figures are drawn to scale, by the way. So when you're done working working on your pencil and paper, uh, you can turn the video on and see if you agree with what I got. Okay, so first thing in these problems, I want to find the missing dimension. If this is 31 feet, I'm going this way. So if this is nine feet from here to here and my total length is 31, that means this has to be 31 minus nine, which is 22 feet. So this dimension here has to be 22 feet. If it's 25 feet all the way across and from here to here it's 10, from here to here it's 10 and it's 25 across, that has to be 15 feet. Okay, so that means this dimension down here is 15 feet. So now it's a question of, uh, I'm gonna split this into two um, rectangles. I'm gonna go this way. So that means this is gonna be nine by 25 this rectangle call it one the area is going to be 25 by 9 it's 18 and 4 is 225 so this is 225 square feet okay this then is 15 and this is 22 so 15 by 22 again I said this is not drawn to scale I know it doesn't look right 5 times 2 is 10, carry a 1, 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3, placeholder 0, 5 times 2 is 10, carry a 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, so that's 330 square feet, so the total area has to be the sum of those two, 225 plus 330, so that's 5 
five and five. So the total area is 555 square feet. So now perimeter, I'm gonna do the shortcut here first. So I'm gonna extend, I'm gonna move this piece over to here and this piece down here. Now I have a rectangle. So the perimeter is gotta be two by 31, because you got two sides that are gonna be 31 feet plus two by 25, which is gonna be 62 plus 50, which is gonna be 112 feet. Now, I will do it the other way if you insist. So, again, my original figure, let's start here and go this way. So that's gonna be 31 plus 25 plus nine plus 10 plus 22 plus 15. So now add it all up. So that's one and, and five is six, six and nine is 15. 15 plus seven is 22, so carry a two. That's going to be two and three and two. That's five and two is seven. And that's four here, seven and four is 11. So we do get either way 112 feet, okay? Now, this is an example. I'm gonna work this with you. So find the perimeter of the figure. Okay, well, this is uh, what this appears to me. Well, I did this, so what? A, this is a trapezoid and a rectangle. That's how I would treat this. I would treat this as two regions for the area, but I said, let's find the perimeter first. So let's go ahead and do that. So perimeter is gonna be 14 plus 15. Again, this is not, none of these are drawn to scale. Plus eight, plus seven, plus 10. So 14 plus 15 plus eight plus seven plus 10. Nine and eight is 17 plus seven. So 17 plus seven makes 24. Carry a two. Two plus one plus one is four plus one is five. So I get a perimeter of 54 feet. 14 plus 15 plus eight plus seven plus 10. So the area, well, the, this is easy enough down here. That's gonna be seven by eight, which is 56 square feet. Now the area of a trapezoid, remember, is one half the height times the sum of the bases. Okay, well, I need to, well, I know this is eight, so this actually has to be eight here too. So the area here is gonna be one half the height Okay, well I gotta figure out the height here. That's one thing I gotta do. So this is 15 to here. This is 70 here. So going straight up to the top, that's gotta be eight feet because eight and seven is 15. So that's gonna be one half times the height, which is eight times the sum of the bases. Well, the bases are eight and 14. So that is one half of eight is four. Inside the parentheses, that's 22. Four times 22 is 88 square feet. So the total area is 88 plus 56. Add those together, I get 144 square feet for the area of the composite figure. And again, perimeter, we got 54 feet. All right, stop the video and uh, do this problem. Find the perimeter of the figure, then find the area of the figure. Again, not drawn to scale. When you're done, turn on video and see if you agree with what I've got. Okay, so the perimeter, if this is, I need to figure out this, this, and this, okay? Well, if this is six from here to here, and this is 18, that means this has to be 12 inches right here, okay? Now, if this is 14 here, and this is eight here, these are 
Again, we're going straight up and down. That means this has to be six inches here because six plus eight is 14. Okay, so now if this is six and this is seven and this is 18, six and seven is 13. I need another five to make 18 because six plus five plus seven makes 18. So this has to be five inches here, okay? So six and 12 is 18, but that's not what I really need to know here. I know this is seven, this is six, six and seven, the missing gap here has to be five inches. Okay, I'm gonna erase that so we don't get too much clutter. But what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna split this figure up as follows. Because this becomes a trapezoid. Okay, so perimeter here, there's no special thing we can do. We're just gonna end up adding the sides up. So the perimeter, we've got Five, I'm gonna go this way. Five plus ten plus six. Well, this has to be six here also. It's plus six plus twelve plus six. So I've got five plus ten plus six plus six plus twelve plus six plus seven plus eight. Okay, so that makes five and six is eleven. Plus 6 is 17, 17 and 8 is 25, 25 and 15 is 40, so put a 0 there, carry a 4. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 60, so the perimeter is 60 inches. Okay. Alright, so let's find the area. Okay, so for the area, I have a rectangle down here the way I've done this, so this is going to be 6 by 12. So base is 12, height is 6, it's a rectangle, so that's 72 square inches. And then this is a trapezoid, so the trapezoid here, so that's 72 for the rectangle. Trapezoid, the bases are, okay, we need to know that. So this has, this is 5 to here, and this is 6 here. So the total here has to be 11. That base here has to be 11 inches because it's five plus six. So the trapezoid, the area is gonna be one half the height. The height is eight here. That's a vertical line, which is the height. We're going straight down here. That would intersect at a right angle. That's eight. And then the sum of the bases is gonna be five plus 11. So one half of eight is four, five plus 11 is 16. So that's gonna be four times 16, which is 64 square inches, okay? All right, so then the total area has to be 64. So we found this to be 64 square inches plus 72 square inches. So that's 136 square inches is the area. The area is, total area is gonna be 136 square inches. All right, another example here, we're finding the shaded area, the yellow area. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the area of the big rectangle and I'm gonna punch out this smaller rectangle. That'll give me like the picture frame that I'm looking at here. So the shaded area, area big rectangle area big rectangle minus area the little or smaller So that's going to be, the big one's 13 by 41. 
That'll be square meters. The smaller one is going to be 6 by 32. So 13 times 41. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. Place zero, place four zero there. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry a 1. 1 times 4 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. So you get 533 square meters. And then 32 by 6. It's 12 carry 1. That's 192. Okay, so 533 minus 192 is 1. Borrow. So I get 341 square meters. Okay, stop the video and do this problem. Find the shade area. That's the aqua colored area here. Again, none of these figures are drawn to scale. When you're done, turn the video back on and see if you agree with what I got. Okay, so I've got the area of the big rectangle here. And I'm punching out this white area here. Okay, so that's going to be 42 by 17 minus 35 by 12. So I'm taking the area of the big rectangle minus the area of the small rectangle. So 42 times 17, 14 carry a one, one four times seven is 28 plus one is 29. Place lower zero, two times one is two, four times one is four. Add them up, we get 714 minus 35 times 12. 5 times 2 is 10, carry a 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, placeholder 0, 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3, add them up, you get 420. So 714 minus 420, it's 4, have to borrow here, that's 6, 11 minus 2 is 9, 6 minus 4 is 2, so it's 294 square meters. Okay, let's go to the next problem. Okay, here's an example. Find the shade area and then give the ratio of the shade area to the area of the rectangle. Okay, so this is a rectangle. I want these two triangles to be the shade area. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract, I'm gonna call this one. And I'm gonna subtract one from the area of the rectangle. Well, that's just a triangle, so the shade area equals area rectangle. I'm just put a little thing for rectangle minus area triangle. Well, the area rectangle is 40 by 12, and the area of the triangle is one half base times height, which is one half 40 times 12. So. I mean, I could, you could just take 480 and take half of it. 40 times 12 is 480. One half of 40 times 12 is 240. It's going to be 240 square inches. The total the shade area, the area rectangle, well, shade area is 240 square, what are the units here? inches and the total area is 480 square inches the units cancel out there and 240 divided by 240 or 480 is a half so the ratio is 1 to 2 you could write this way you could also write it this way or you could say 1 to 2 it's, they all mean the same thing okay so, so ratio is a fraction all right so practice this one may be a little more interesting Find the shade area, give the ratio of shade area to the area rectangle. So stop the video, work the problem, and see if you get what I did. All right, well, in this one, I'm going to do something similar to the last one. These are all rectangle. This is a rectangle here, so these are all right angles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take three triangles here, 
add them up and subtract them from the area of the rectangle. Well, the area of triangle one is, again, the area of triangle is one half base times height, excuse me. So the area of triangle one is one half by 50 by 30. That's 1,500, half of that is 750, so that's 750 square inches. Okay, triangle two is gonna be one half of 60 by 12. Well, that's one half of 60, 30. 30 times 12 is 360. So that's 360 square inches. Okay, the last one, if this is 30 from here to here, from top to bottom is 30, and this is 12, that means I need to go another 18 inches up here from here to here. So this is 18, and then if this is 50, this is 60. From here to here is 50. I need to go another 10 inches to get to 60. So this is the area of this triangle, too, is 1 half of 10 by 18, which is a half of 180, which is 90 square inches. So the area of 1, 2, and 3 is equal to 1 is 750 2 is is 90 and 3 is 360 so I'm going to add those all up that's 0 5 and 9 is 14, plus 6 is 20. So that's 1,200 square inches is the white area. Okay, well the total rectangle area is 50 by 30. So what I'm doing is to find the shaded area, which is a triangle. I'm taking the area of the rectangle, which is 30 by 60 minus the area of 1, 2, and 3, which is 1,200. So that's 1,800 minus 1,200. So that's 600 square inches when we're all done. Okay, so then part two says give the ratio of the shade area to the area of the rectangle. Well, the area of the rectangle is just going to be base times height, which is 60 by 30. So part two, let's get a color we can see here. Part two, so the area of the rectangle is 60 by 30 inches so that's 1800 square inches so the ratio of shaded area to the area of the rectangle is going to be 600 square inches to 1800 square inches so the square inches cancel out that's a one to three so it's going to be one to three you could also write it like this one to three this way or one you could write it out one two three so this concludes this video if you found this video informative and you liked it please give it a thumbs up or a like and consider subscribing to my youtube channel the math dog that would be greatly appreciated you may share the content of this video with others thank you and have a good day